welcome back to the vlog and happy friday yeah we just went out to dinner it was pretty good just nearby and we are having a harry potter and game night so we're gonna play monopoly deal and ticket to ride monopoly london deal. edition monopoly deal is the appetizer the yes. starter and quick one our entree is yeah ticket to ride london uh we got John Lennon, <laughs> the Queen, young Queen Lizzie. Uh, I don't know who that is. Spice mm -hmm. Girl? Oh, yeah, maybe. Which one? I don't know. And Sherlock Holmes? Yeah, maybe. We've been trying to do, like, a game night once a week just to, like, change it up so we're not always watching, just watching TV. Yeah. So we're going to have a glass of wine and play some games. And that's our Friday night in. And I'm not sure what we'll get up to this weekend, but... Um, even if we're just home, I'll try to show you just what we get up to. So, yeah, let's see who wins some of these games. <laughs> Formula One weekend. Singapore. Singapore. Murphy's actually been there to the track. Yeah, it would have been a month or two before the actual race, so nothing was really set up. But... Yeah. It's a night race. Here's Pebbles. Bubbles. We're just watching her. You go home on Monday. So we've got a red flag at the qualifying session. So now Murphy is doing his favorite task. Cleaning up all of the leaves. Every time he does this, like within minutes, all of the leaves start to fall again. So it's good that we have this device now, but... <laughs> He gets so irritated that they fall off right away. But yeah, chill Saturday. We were up pretty late last night and um, we went to the gym and did a double upper and lower body workout. So we're feeling tired and uh, not much on the docket today, to be honest. Uh, relax, we're going on a little trip next weekend. So we're just chilling this weekend and watching formula one and murphy's ultimate sports day is tomorrow formula one football arsenal plays and then american football so it's quite the day he has coming up tomorrow so yeah that's what's going on it's looking good out there just a man at work Hello, 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 and happy Monday. Okay, we recapped a little bit of what we did on the weekend. Um, lazy weekend, like I said, we're going on a trip this week, so we didn't have much to do. However, we're getting back to baking day, okay? I've taken a break. I did make lemon bars when we were home for family. It was just too chaotic in the kitchen because we were making a big meal for like 10 people or so um so i didn't yeah i didn't vlog that but i made lemon bars which were basically a shortbread base and then some lemon custard type deal on top and they're really good they were a hit um but yeah today it is a, like fall now um it was really hot when we came back um from home here for a week but now we're more in the high 60s so it's feeling like fall and i'm gonna do something with apples today i'm gonna do mini apple pies i've never made a pie in my life and i would go traditional like regular pie but i don't really want a full pie sitting around and these mini pies will just make it easier for me to give them away so We'll do our best. I will say I told Allison yesterday that I was going to try doing these mini apple pies this week. And um, she asked if I was making a homemade crust and I said, yeah. And her response was, oh God. So thank you for the vote of confidence, Allison, if you're watching. And hopefully I can conquer this and she can take that comment back. So we'll see how we do. Um, I've got the food processor and stuff out. So here's what we're doing first. 
we've got flour, sugar, salt, and I need to mix this up in the um, food processor and then I will add cold butter and um, ice water and then yeah we'll see hopefully it comes together in the dough form that we are supposed to have what i am nervous about honestly is rolling it and like cutting it and then doing we're gonna do a lattice shape can you believe it so i got this little cutter and we'll use this um to shape them for the like muffin tin basically um so let's see how we do okay <laughs> I think we are where we are supposed to be at this point in time. So, saran wrap down. I hate saran wrap, my god. Okay, we have a ball, which is what we want. Allison did say touch it as little as possible because you want it to be cold, I think. So, this is our dough. And it's going in the fridge for 30 minutes, at least, to chill before we roll it out, which I'm a little bit nervous about, to be honest. Okay. So there's our ball. Isn't she pretty? Uh, and she's going in the fridge. Okay. So now I am going to do the filling for... These little apple pies um, so we've got some brown sugar white sugar apples cinnamon uh, going in and then I think soon we'll roll, roll the dough okay people it's the moment of truth we're rolling out the ball. So I'm supposed to do a quarter inch roll out. So I floured my space. Put you down here. Okay, we're floured. We got our apples ready after. I will say it has been a little longer than 30 minutes. Like I said, this is like the part I'm most worried about. Okay, that kind of seems like a quarter inch thick. I have to save some for like the lattice as well. So I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. I don't know. So I need 12. We did it!
so just a little debrief on that whole experience. Um, I'm not very good with the rolling pin. Some of the bases of the pies definitely have different thickness, um, but they withheld the process so far. So we'll see once they're done. But then the topping, um, I really wanted to do the cute lattice work, but honestly, it was just kind of it didn't look that great and it was it took a lot more time than necessary so that's why the last four are just like a regular top and then I did the slits in them because I feel like that's an apple pie thing right I don't know but anyways um the process wasn't terrible um just the, the rolling it's all messy and whatever but we'll see how they come out it seems like the crust is what's most likely to not turn out based on I don't know, Allison says if you touch it too much, so I guess we'll see. Um, so yeah, they're in the oven for about 15 or so minutes, and then we'll see what they look like. Here's the finished product. Um, these I should have, like, connected better with the base. And these, again, we're not going for aesthetic, we're just going for taste. So I'm gonna taste one. I didn't actually eat, like, a lot of pie growing up, so I haven't had apple pie that much in my life i don't have like that much to compare it to so i'm gonna do one of the uglier ones okay this one's actually kind of falling apart so i'm glad i picked this one i guess so yeah i'm gonna taste it over the sink i don't think it's bad it's fine I'll have Murphy try later and see. Like I said, I'm just like, don't really eat pie. I don't think it's, I don't think I screwed it up. So that's a plus. I do think that the pie crust is fine. Like I don't think it's, I don't think it's not what it's supposed to be or how it should have ended up or anything. So I think, I think it's fine. I think I did a good job. And we'll get a full review from Murphy later today. Later that day. We're caught in a thunderstorm warning on our way home. It's cold. And I did not wear waterproof mascara. Oops. Soaked is an understatement. <laughs> <laughs> We almost got struck by lightning, but we survived. Okay, we've made it home from our treacherous uh, ride home in a moderate to severe thunderstorm warning. And <laughs> we moderate. almost got struck by lightning. We passed the tree that got struck by, light struck by lightning like less than a minute after it happened. But anyways, we're being rewarded here with an apple pie. I tried mine already, so now Ooh. Murphy is gonna give his go. Mmm. It's good. I said that I wasn't really, I didn't grow up eating pie, so I don't have a good judge of... Is it dry? No. Yeah. Oh, it's not? Okay, that's good. Good pie. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, I would say I did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like... It's real apples, right? Yeah, nice. it's not like super high in the tier of the things that I've made, but again, I'm just, pie isn't my favorite dessert food. Um, but it was a good challenge because I had never made pie dough one and rolling and all of that was new for me, so. Really good. Yep. And what's your rating? Eight out of 10. Eight out of 10. That's pretty good. I'll do a lot of those. Okay, well, you got a lot to eat. <laughs> All right, that's that for baking day. Apples done, pie sort of done. We'll make a real pie maybe, but I'll, that almost seems harder, I don't know, but okay. Bye. Good morning. Thursday already. Uh, when did we last check in? After that storm on um, Monday. Yeah, that was crazy. Um, since then, I got my nails done on Tuesday, 
and I had a hair consultation with somebody uh, here because uh, I haven't done that yet to do my hair to go darker a little bit um, so that was fine and otherwise not much um, I've been playing Hogwarts Legacy in the evening quite a bit so that's what I've been doing but anyways um, I'm making my usual breakfast right now which is like a copycat uh, Starbucks spinach egg white feta wrap. That's been my go-to breakfast uh, for like the past two weeks maybe. It's super easy. I actually use one regular egg um, and then also egg whites and then spinach feta and sun -dried one sun-dried tomato um, cut up. So that's what I'm doing now but I just wanted to pop on and catch you up a little bit. Um, so today we're actually leaving to go on a little trip, um, just a quick weekend trip. We are going to Bordeaux, France, um, and I'm really excited because I've been wanting to go to France and like experience France, like since I was a kid, but especially since we moved when we moved to England, and we just haven't done it yet. So, we did stay overnight in um, France when we were moving here, but we didn't really get to like experience like a city or anything. So, yeah, I'm really excited to do that. And we've got some fun things planned. However, I don't know if you can tell by my voice, but I am starting to get a cold. And it's manageable right now, and I'm hoping that it just kind of stays this way. I've been taking Zycam, I've been taking this vitamin C and paracetamol mix, I have strepsils, but it's also supposed to rain tomorrow um, most of the day and that isn't going to be the best for my cold. But um, we are doing a wine tour and Something you might not know about me is that I actually did a wine course in uh, when we lived in Bristol, um, the WSET level two, and <clears throat> it's it was really interesting. So I, I have some wine knowledge. It's not super vast, but like in terms of France, I know the main regions and like what grapes are mostly grown in different regions and. The taste profiles and whatever so um it'll be really exciting because bordeaux is home to a lot of really good wines specifically red and i love red wine and so we are going on a tour tomorrow of saint emilion region um to i think it's like three chateaus or so um so we're due we signed up for the morning one um just to kind of get it out of the way and I figured more people might not do the morning one um but yeah so we're doing that and I'm really pumped and then they also have a wine like an interactive wine museum and I think we'll do that Saturday so we'll definitely um take you along while we go on this adventure but I just yeah wanted to let you know what's coming up and um I, I didn't really check in much this week but there wasn't much going on to be honest um so that's that i'm just gonna eat my breakfast and then yeah today's really just kind of a race against the clock kind of um because we have to bring monty to the dog sitter on our way to the airport and i'm trying to get a workout in finish packing and clean the house in a matter of like three hours and get ready. So um, hopefully I can crunch that in. So yeah, but I think we'll probably end the vlog here, but apple pies were a success. Murphy brought them to work. They got a thumbs up and I will take that. So that is that. Next video you'll see is gonna be a Bordeaux vlog so excited so yeah i hope you have a really great weekend or week whenever you are watching this see you soon